Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So this morning we're going to have a look at another little modification done to my car. And the modification in question is number plate relocation. So as you can see on my Exige, I have the number plate relocated to the grille in much the same fashion that you get on the newer cars, so the 410 and the 430 Cup. Uh, the re main reason why I did this modification simply because of cosmetics. I think it's a cleaner look. I didn't like the bracket on the original placement. Um, I just thought it looked a little bit out of place. So the modification is fairly simple. Um, there are four attachment points for the original bracket. Uh, if you can see in here, uh, we have these two spaces and there are bolts that run up under through the spoiler and through the bracket. They need to be undone from underneath the spoiler. And then in turn, there's a couple of little plastic pegs that insert into the lower half of the clam. Uh, they just need to be worked out of place and then the bracket simply slides out. Um, you then <coughs> reinsert the screws through these spaces and the job's done. Um, with regards to mounting onto the grill, uh, I wanted a clean look so I didn't want any additional screws or bolts or holes or anything on the plate itself. So I pre-mounted it onto a plate, and I'll show you quickly how I did that. So I use this material here. It's a strong plastic called Kydex. It is actually used in the manufacture of uh, holsters, of all things. Um, but it's very strong, it's lightweight, um, and it's really easy to work with to cut and drill. Um, so I made up a plate of this of the appropriate size. The plates, the number plate itself is simply attached to this with number plate tape. So really strong double sided padded tape. And then the key component is one of these little things, which is a T-nut. You can get them on eBay. Just make sure you get either stainless steel or anodized ones. Uh, this fits behind, <coughs> behind the um, number plate. Drill a, drill a hole. It sits then flat on the plate here, which means that it doesn't protrude. You can then simply use a large size washer and a bolt to attach from the opposite side of the grill and then screws into the T-nut and holds the number plate in place. Obviously just be careful where you're drilling your holes to make sure they align up correctly with the grill. To do it, obviously, I took the grill off. That's quite easy to do. You have four screws, essentially. One up here, one down here, and then on the opposite side as well. Um, the whole job is quite a quick job. You could probably get it done sort of in like 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and in my opinion, although I know other people like the bracket mounted plate, I just think it makes the car look a lot cleaner. Um, with regards to air induction, um, a lot of people worry about that. Um, I haven't had any problems. Um, that intake at the front is a very big intake anyway. Um, and it's obviously right on the front face of the car. So anytime moving at speed, you're still going to get lots of air in around that number plate. And if there was a real big issue with it, I don't see why Lotus would have done it on the latest generation of cars. Um, but I haven't any problems at all. And that's how I relocated my number plate. I'll see you again soon, guys.